So I got the Hummel out of the hangar and got it all cleaned up, took it for a flight this morning. And before I take the wings off, I thought I'd do a video that shows a close-up of how the wings go on and off. So that's what this will be about. All right, this will just show you the attachment points uh, for reference. We're approaching from the front. This is the first attachment point. There's a large bolt that passes through the top of the main spar. There's also one on the bottom that I'll show you next. I have to get down on the ground and film up to show that. Okay, this one's a lot harder to show. This is the underside of the wing. In there, you can see the bolt. And I have put a little shelf, a very small shelf there, that I can rest the mating half of the spar on when I'm, when I'm first assembling the wings. Okay, now we're on the back side of the wing. There's the front of the airplane. Canopy's open. And then if you look here, you can see the rear spar and the bolt. And right below the bolt is the aileron control rod. And that's just held on with a castellated nut and then a cotter pin. And now, for the first part, I put a couple of saw horses under the wings and they'll support the wing when I release it. I set them up so they're a couple of inches to the outside of a rib so that when I set the wing on the sawhorses they are supported by the rib. As an example here you can see that this sawhorse is just a little bit to the left of the rivet line for that rib so that when I move it a few inches to the left to separate it from the fuselage it'll be pretty much sitting on its strongest point which is a rib line. Okay these look kind of weird but what they are is a couple of steel pieces that I made that hold the nylon webbing across the wing. So this is two inch nylon webbing and I'll thread those steel plates through a small gap at the back of the aileron. I'll show you where that is. And then I'll stretch the webbing around the wing so that when I pull it tight, I can lift it, the wing up and control it with the webbing. You'll see. Okay, in this shot, I've got the webbing secured at the aft end in the aileron slots with those metal brackets. And then I've stretched the webbing to lay along a rib line, if you look carefully here, there's a rib line. Again, so that when I lift on these straps, they'll lift on the strongest part, which is the rib lines. So what I'll do then is I'll throw those ends of the straps under the wing and connect them to the underside of those brackets so that I've got it completely entrapped. I'll show you when I do that. I have to get on the ground. Okay, you may remember that the bracket goes into the, the gap in the aileron there. And then started back on itself, the webbing is right there. And then if we go below, looking below, you can see that same strap that I had. And hopefully you can see the slot in the bracket. So I'll put the webbing on there. It's kind of hard to do while you're filming. Anyway, now it's there, and then when I pull this top piece, I'm really I'm tightening that up. And then this steel bracket will take the weight and distribute it across the webbing. And then I do the same over here, two rib lines over, same process. And once it's in place, it kind of looks like the black arches, a letter M. And then I'll come up when I'm ready to start moving the wing, and I'll place this webbing over that webbing, keep it right on the rib line, 
and I'll grab it with my hand and same on the other side and I'll be able to control it and lift it up. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so now everything's in place to remove that wing. Okay, here I use these ratcheting wrenches on the bolt and the nut. Okay, and now I'm removing the nut off the back of the bolt. a washer. I'll lift on this webbing to my left a little bit and then I'll release some of the strain on the bolt and the bolt just pops out. Then I'll do the same for the bottom but I'll, I'll be on my back upside down and backwards for that. Okay, and so this is the bolt through the rear spar. I'll try to stay out of your way so you can see what's going on. I already removed the bottom bolt on the main spar. Couldn't film that one easily. Because uh, that was on my back. Anyway, this one I usually just spin it off with my thumb and let it fall wherever it goes. I'll collect it in a minute. And there we go. I wasn't lifting right. Alright, so that's all three bolts and that's all there is to that. Next I'll slide the wing apart and then remove the aileron control rod. Okay, now this is why I set up that webbing earlier. I'll grab these two straps and then I'll place my legs against the leading edge to support the wing and then I'll slide it out so that I've disconnected it from the spars. And that's all I do. And that's why I put the sawhorses there so that when I move it to the left, the wings will be supported on the ribs. So the next thing I do is remove the aileron control rod. Okay, here you can see the aileron control rod going up to the bell crank up there. So the stick has another control rod that looks similar that mates to the other end of that bell crank. And then when you move it, you're actually moving the ailerons and then they tie in here with, as I said earlier, just a, a cotter pin and then a castellated nut. That's just finger tight because the cotter pin is holding it. And so that's what makes the ailerons move up and down, is that joint there. Gives you a very positive feel. It makes the airplane extremely responsive when you're flying it. It's wonderful. Anyway, that's it. The wing is now free, and I can use those webbing straps from top to put it into the cradle. I'll show you that next.
Now this is the 150 and this is the reason the Hummel has to have its wings clipped so that um, I can make room for Mabel here. Mabel will fit in the hanger. And here's the final product. The Hummel is over there in that corner. And then the 150 is here. And then the wings are over there. And here's a panorama uh, out here at Deer Park, Washington, just north of Spokane. Uh, it's beautiful weather today and I spent the night at the hangar last night, got up early and flew the Hummel. I actually flew last night, did some twilight flying just before the sun set in the 150. I might do the same thing tonight because it looks like another beautiful evening. It's kind of fun.